is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the Python version of the course. I'm on level 20, Forest Fire Dancing. Goal, avoid the fireballs. You can nest an if statement inside another if statement to make more complex choices. Ah, this is getting technical. Oh, use this technique to find the safe spot and avoid fireballs. Okay, this is kind of tough. So this is a totally new thing. Let's see what we got. Wall true, so we have a loop here. And we already have if evil stone. So what is evil stone doing? Okay, we made this variable evil stone. We declared it. And then we said, hero, find the nearest item. So our hero looks around and finds the nearest item. And our hero then names the nearest item evil stone. Then we ask the computer, if evil stone. So we're saying, if this exists. Because if my hero looked around and said, there's no evil stone, evil stone would still equal something, but it just equals nothing, null. So the hero looks around and says, there's nothing here. Evil stone equals nothing. So that's when we use if and we check, hey, computer, if evil stone, was there an evil stone or no? If there was, we run this code. Else, we're going to run this code. Let's then, once we run this code, say there is an evil stone, we're going to check. Position, evil stone dot position, that should be. Okay, if the position is 34x, is that over here? Yep. So if x is 34, so the computer says true. And notice we have an if statement inside of an if. So this if is only going to be checked if the evil stone existed. We then make this variable position. We say if the evil stone position was equal to 34, the computers can say true or false. Oh yeah, we do use two equal sign because one makes a variable. Two is to check if something is equivalent, is equal. So the computer says true. That's where the evil stone's at. If evil stone is on the left, is on the left, go to the right side. Oh, that makes sense because it's an evil stone. So, uh, right. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, hero dot move. Oh, we can't say right. We got to say, um, I guess 4622. And now if, and so if this returns false, if there's an evil stone, but we know the position's not on the left, not over here at 34, then the computer says false, and it skips this move and goes to our else statement. So if it's not on the right, we know it exists, so it must be on the left. And the left would be 34, 22 again. Yep. So um, move x, y, I hit enter, 34, 22. Okay. Now this else statement is tied to this if statement up here. So if evil stone, and if the computer says, nope, there's no evil stone else, if there's no evil stone, go to the middle. And where's the middle? Right here. So 40, 22. Okay. So let's see. Right? If there's no evil stone, it skips everything in here and goes to the else statement. It runs whatever's in here, goes to the bottom. If there was code down here, I would run it, but there's not. It's just the end of our loop. And zoop goes up here. If there is an evil stone, it never runs whatever's in the else statement. Well, it doesn't run it until next pass through the loop. Let's see if this works. We made it. So this was the code that worked for me. Let's keep going.